Hello everyone, this is Weibo Lin from Huawei Cloud. Today, I'm going to give a talk about our work for the split delivery vehicle routing problem. My talk consists of three parts. In the first part, I will introduce the background and some recent works of split delivery vehicle routing. In the second part, I will describe the details of our server, LCAD SD. Finally, I will introduce our experiment. The capacitive vehicle routing problem has been fully introduced in the topics of the past few days. The problem started in this topic, SDVRP, is a relaxation of CVRP, where each customer can be served by multiple vehicles. Drawer and Trudeau first introduced this problem in 1990, and they also demonstrated that the demand splitting can improve both the routing cost and the number of vehicles. Let's look at an example. There are three customers with demands of 70, 35, and 95, respectively. Assume that our vehicles has a capacity of 100. We will need three vehicles to satisfy the customers in CVRP. However, if the demand of the customer 2 is allowed to be split, we only need two vehicles to serve the customers, and the total distance can also be improved. In recent years, SDVRP has been widely studied. Here we list some representative works of SDVRP in the past decade. Exact algorithms of SDVRP are mostly based on branch and cut. They can find the optimal solution for the instances containing up to 50 customers. For larger instances, heuristic algorithms are more effective Silva et al. proposed an iterated local search-based algorithm, Split ILS, in 2015. It remains one of the most effective algorithms to date. In subsequent years, other types of heuristics for the SDVRP have also been proposed, such as the works based on particle swarm optimization or evolution algorithm. Next, I'm going to introduce our method. In the previous works of SDVRP, the travel cost between customers is always assumed to satisfy the triangle inequality. However, the rounded Euclidean distance used in this DMAX implementation challenge may violate the triangle inequality. Below is a counterexample. Well, Three customers are at the coordinates of 0, 2, 1, 1, and 3, 0. To fix the problem of the triangle inequality, we adopt the Floyd algorithm to compute the shortest path between each pair of customers. Then, the shortest path distance is used as the new travel cost. At the last, we can restore the original route by unfolding each shortest path. The internal customers in a shortest path will be inserted to the route with zero delivery. It is valid to do so in SDVRP, since each customer is allowed to be visited by multiple times. OK, next I will introduce the overall framework of our solver. It is a multi-start iterated local search algorithm. In each iteration, we use the insertion-based heuristic by Pana et al. to construct a valid solution. Next, local search is performed using random variable neighborhood descent to further improve the initial solution. The late acceptance hill climbing criterion is employed to determine whether the new solution should be accepted. Finally, 
The last accepted solution is perturbed, utilizing the perturbation mechanism. In the following, I will introduce the neighborhood structures and the perturbation method in details. There are a total of six local search operators in our server. Four of them are inter-route operators, and two are intra-route operators. Most of them are classical neighborhoods in CVRP. Here, I want to highlight the swap star and SD swap star operators. Swap star is an effective operator proposed by Veda for CVRP. It exchanges two customers from different roads without an insertion in place. The SD swap star operator is a split adaption of swap star and is first proposed in this work. Let's look at an example. Assume that I and J are two customers in different roads. Our operator will remove J from road 2 with its amount and inserts it to road 1. In parallel, customer I is split to two copies. The one in the original position with amount di apostrophe minus dj apostrophe and the other one in road 2 with amount dj apostrophe. In this process, j can be inserted to any position of road 1 and the copy of i in road 2 can likewise be placed in any position. Importantly, the SD swap star neighborhood can be explored in n square time using a method similar to that in the work of VEDA, where n is the number of customers. In addition, to further speed up the local search procedure, we adopt a mechanism called the lazy static move descriptor. Specifically, we maintain a matrix catch best move for each inter-route operator. While best move R1, R2 will store the best move of the corresponding neighborhood associated with the roads R1 and R2. Since each local search step in our algorithm affects two roads of the solution, only two rows and two columns of the matrix need to be updated after a neighborhood move. And we adopt a lazy update mechanism. Well, the matrix will be updated only when the corresponding operator is about to be used. This catch method can save a lot of unnecessary re-evaluations and is quite easy to implement. The perturbation mechanism also plays a key role in our solver. We adopt an improved algorithm which combines slack induction by string removers, SRSR method by Christine's Edel, and the split reinsertion approach by Bodia Edel. Our perturbation method employs a ruin and a recreation paradigm. First, a number of customers are selected using adjacent string remover, the ruin method of SISR, and all the selected customers are removed from the solution. Next, the absent customers are sorted by some criteria, such as the distance to the depot. Finally, each removed customer is inserted using a rote blink adaption of the split reinsertion method. The blink strategy is used to balance the exploration and exploitation trade-off, which is important for a perturbation mechanism. At last, I'd like to introduce our experiment. Our algorithm is implemented in C++ and compiled by c -Long with O3 optimization option. All the experiments are conducted on a server equipped with a 3.2 GHz Intel CPU. According to CPU max, the time limit is fixed to 1347 seconds per instance. 
There are a total of 11 parameters in our SORA LCAT SD. We have turned the parameter values using the hyperparameter optimization framework Optuna based on a number of large instances from the benchmark. The specific parameter values used in the experiment can be found in our workshop paper. Luckily, we have won the first place in the SDVRP track of the implementation challenge. It seems that our solver obtained the best results on all instances except one. To verify the effectiveness of our proposed components, two alternative algorithms are designed. Well, LKID SD1 utilizes SD swap11 and SD swap12 instead of our SD swap star operator. And LCAD SD2 adopts multiple case split as the perturbation mechanism. We show the results in this figure to compile the three algorithms. The best solution value on different time points is recorded to measure the performance of the algorithms at different stages of the search. The vertical axis in the figure represents the average gap between the solution value and the best solution value found in this paper. From the figure, we can observe that the proposed SD swap star operator and the perturbation mechanism are important in terms of both final solution quality and the convergence speed. Finally, we present the speed up ratio brought by lazy static move descriptor in this figure. As shown, LSMD is powerful to speed up our local search algorithm, especially on the instances having a large number of rows. Okay, that's all of my presentation. Thanks very much for listening. Now, we are welcome to questions and comments.